Today's topic is what is amputation or limb loss? Amputation is the surgical removal of all or part of a limb or extremity, such as an arm, leg, foot, hand, toe, or finger. About 1.8 million Americans are living with amputations. Amputation of the leg, either above or below the knee, is the most common amputation surgery. Reasons There are many reasons an amputation may be necessary. The most common is poor circulation because of damage or narrowing of the arteries, called peripheral arterial disease. Without adequate blood flow, the body's cells cannot get the oxygen and nutrients they need from the bloodstream. As a result, the affected tissue begins to die and infection may set in. Other causes for amputation may include any of the following. Diseases, such as blood vessel disease, called peripheral vascular disease, or PVD. Diabetes, blood clots, or osteomyelitis, an infection in the bones. Injuries, especially of the arms. 75% of upper extremity amputations are related to trauma. Surgery to remove tumors from bones and muscles. Cancerous tumor in the bone or muscle of the limb. Serious infection that does not get better with antibiotics or other treatment. Thickening of nerve tissue, called a neuroma. Frostbite. The amputation procedure. An amputation usually requires a hospital stay of 5 to 14 days or more, depending on the surgery and complications. The procedure itself may vary depending on the limb or extremity being amputated and the patient's general health. Amputation may be done under general anesthesia, meaning the patient is asleep, or with spinal anesthesia, which numbs the body from the waist down. When performing an amputation, the surgeon removes all damaged tissue while leaving as much healthy tissue as possible. A doctor may use several methods to determine where to cut and how much tissue to remove. These include checking for a pulse close to where the surgeon is planning to cut, comparing skin temperatures of the affected limb with those of a healthy limb, looking for areas of reddened skin, checking to see if the skin near the site where the surgeon is planning to cut is still sensitive to touch. During the procedure itself, the surgeon will remove the diseased tissue and any crushed bone, smooth uneven areas of bone, seal off blood vessels and nerves, cut and shape muscles so that the stump or end of the limb will be able to have an artificial limb or prosthesis attached to it. Rehabilitation after amputation. Loss of limb produces a permanent disability that can impact a patient's self-image, self-care, and movement. Rehabilitation of the patient with an amputation begins after surgery during the acute treatment phase. As the patient's condition improves, a more extensive rehabilitation program is often begun. The success of rehabilitation depends on many variables, including the following. Level and type of amputation. Type and degree of any resulting impairments and disabilities. Overall health of the patient. Family support. In order to help reach these goals, amputation rehabilitation programs may include the following. Treatments to help improve wound healing and stump care. Activities to help improve motor skills. Restore activities of daily living, or ADLs, and help the patient reach maximum independence. Exercises that promote muscle strength, endurance, and control. Fitting and use of artificial limbs, or prosthesis. Pain management for both post-operative and phantom pain, or a sensation of pain that occurs below the level of the amputation. Emotional support to help during the grieving period and with readjustment to a new body image. Use of assistive devices. Nutritional counseling to promote healing and health. Vocational counseling. Adapting the home environment for ease of function, safety, accessibility, and mobility. Patient and family education. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.